Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Larry Sarge reaction. We have a problem with what it's called. Let's see. Only Invisalign clear aligners are made with smart track material to precisely move your teeth to your best smile. See how Invisalign treatment can yep, shape your smile smile up to two times faster today at Invisalign.com. Hey everybody, welcome to the lounge. I'm my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Hey, we're doing a QA. and a Q and a baby. I don't know how to do it with my hands. Question and answer. <laughs> Question and answer. Q and a Five times my hand. <laughs> that, was, that was awkward. Anyway, before we get started, first I want to shout out our podcast. <laughs> our podcast, because it's really hopping now. It is hopping. I thought the last week that we had was the funniest week so far. It was. There was no serious stories. They were all funny. It stories. was all funny, and we're going to try to keep it more lighthearted. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a balance. Yeah, there's a balance. We'll, we'll have, have some serious. And then some party party. But majority of yeah, not serious. Right. Because I think that's. Right, yeah, and again, guys, you can find that on Podbean.com, Podbean, Spotify, Spotify, Google Play, Google Play, and iTunes. iTunes, just in case you couldn't understand what he was saying, I now, won't repeat it. Also, I want to let you guys know that we started a Patreon account, Patreon, uh, which is Larry's Lounge Cast on there. If you guys feel so inclined, the guys, and I'm talking to the people that are podcast listeners, yeah, actually. the podcasters, yeah, the loungers, the loungers. To to if you if you want to hit us up, buy us a beer, or you can make a bigger donation kind of thing. We're because we're looking to upgrade. Right, we want to put a better product out for you guys. That's yeah. our goal to do a, a, a great better product and to do. In all honesty, we want to do more than just one podcast a week. And until we find advertisers, we're relying on you guys because it does take a lot for us to do this. So. Welcome it's to up the house. Yeah, yeah, that's for the issue. Yeah, right. Two. It, 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 it's, it's up to you. It's we told you from day one. That this podcast wouldn't be successful without you guys. Yeah. And now there's more pressure on you. Right. No, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get to these questions now. You want to go first or you want me to go first? Uh, I'll go first. Billy at the dark pickle, the underscore dark underscore pickle. This is for Larry. If you could have power to turn it into anything, what would you choose to be? Huh? We need to see what my question is. But so if I had power to tear, what? turn it into anything, uh, what would If I could be? turn it into anything? Yeah. Should I ask you for a secret favor? Like that's like a superhero? I guess, character? yeah, I guess. Anything. Oh, I'd just love to fly, man. God. Okay. So my question is. Oh my this is god. So weird. Right, go ahead. If you could be or have the power to turn into a female for a month, who would you be? That seems wrong well to be, right? Uh I it probably Jennifer Aniston just because I would want to look at myself in the mirror for about a month straight. Yeah, but then you'd be having guys all over you. Uh no, I would not. I would I would change up a little bit. Maybe I, I can make a decision for myself to make that change. Well that is true. But if I could just stand in front of myself naked and <laughs> stare in the mirror for a month, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> Have fun with yourself, that's what you said. <laughs> that's not what I was saying. Okay, I should have was <laughs> both my questions. I should have read them both before I gave them. <laughs> Alright, this is from Fox PKC. What do you like the best about YouTube? What do you hate about it? Mm. That's a good question. What do I like the best? It's a, it's a place that you can be creative and put stuff up. What do I hate about it? That you can't put anything that you want. No, you can't be creative. You're very stifled on what, what you're actually We used to love about. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like YouTube because yeah, it gives us a chance to be funny, to do what we do, mm -hmm. and to get it out to the masses because we wouldn't have this type of... Uh, influence or ability without it. Right, and I think this next question I have with oh, okay. yeah, two or one because this is kind of connected. It's your channel, though. This is from Noel. Will you do another series that is similar to Slappy Halloween? That was my all-time favorite series from you guys, as oh, it was thanks. hilarious. Would love to see something like it in the future. And this and this goes in, in, in the, in, the, into the, the, YouTube. the problem with the YouTube yeah. and everything. It's like <laughs> our favorite characters will always be the party guys. And the angry guys. Yeah. And the problem is, is that they don't get pushed out <laughs> on YouTube whatsoever, and it kind of kills the channel. And it almost gets demonetized. It's boring. Well, the angry guys, guys get. Yeah, the angry yeah, guys will get demonetized, but but they stifle we, us. Yeah, yeah, they stifle. We're like to be stifled. And we don't like. Look, don't make me angry. My beard's gonna turn red. <laughs> That'd be awesome if you just put that. Yeah, the all of a sudden, just goes. Yeah, that would be really cool. All right. <clears throat> if Jesse hadn't introduced us to. Say, to you during the second series, do you think you'd be doing YouTube? No. <laughs> no, I didn't know about YouTube. That's no. at uh, Spader underscore Spaniel. 
You didn't know. Well, I mean, you'd like. I knew about YouTube. YouTube, YouTube but no, in all honesty, because the way that worked out for Larry and I, it, it, we we had a really good friendship, and then life kind of separated. Right? I was young. Um, you were more settled. Right. And we were involved with church and stuff, and I kind of went to college straight away. You know, we would. We were always friends. We just right. weren't in we, Facebook. Yeah, you know, we just weren't in daily contact. And I somehow stumbled on these videos that you. That I was and I was like, dude, is there anything going okay with you and your family? Because <laughs> right. things seem crazy. And you were like, why don't you come over? And this is in like January. Why don't yeah. you come over and we'll talk about yeah. it? And, and and we did. And all of a sudden, he let me know that he was doing YouTube stuff yeah. all the time. And he invited me over and, to cook cheese sticks. And we've always had like a thing about us, like whenever we, we like with the guys group and stuff, yeah. we, would, we would do the church stuff. We always had a connection where we could make people laugh. It was super it yeah, from yeah. day one. It was so it was so prominent that, that I think the pastor pretty much said, "Hey, you guys need to work together." But in which case, this one give up vibe says, "How did you and Joe meet?" There you go. We Mike met. Evans technically is how we met. It was Christmas Eve. No, it was a Christmas service, and you had yeah, given him a one. fishing pole and yeah. something else for Christmas. And Joe's so like, like oh, "I'm friends with him. He give me a fishing pole." That's not why at all. <laughs> but it had been a really warm because everybody was stuck in the grass. Oh yeah, and we started pushing all these people out, yeah. and I was there covered with him, covered in mud, and we were pushing people out of the uh, out of the grass parking lot, and then all of a sudden he was like, yeah. "It's pretty cool he did that." Yeah, I'm like, all right, I'll keep him around. <laughs> um, Eric at Menchaca, or it's at Chumley eighty six. Would you ever consider making tamales for a video? I think we did. Not tamales. I would consider making anything for a video. To be honest with you, I don't know what a tamale is. We, yeah. Uh, did we? Uh, ch no, chiladas we made. That's what it was. We made chiladas, not tamales. Yeah. What did you say we made? Chiladas. What is a chilada? I think it's a chilada. Uh, you're thinking of a quesadilla? Yeah, it was quesadilla. That's what it was. <laughs> he made fish tacos <laughs> one time. <laughs> made a lot of stuff. <laughs> a culotta is like a drink from like Taco Bell, I think. That's what I want, right? Or, no, don't be nervous. Call me culotta. <laughs> That's what it is. I want a coffee culotta. We've made a lot of dishes, and I'm not real, you know, familiar with Mexican dishes or Spanish dishes at but all. But I love Mexican food. Yeah, I said a lot, but it's like we, we learn how to do that kind of stuff. We, we, we're up for that kind of stuff, but you got to understand also, it's like one of the reasons we don't do chilling and growing is because we're doing our podcast now. It takes away a lot of time for us because yeah. we are limited, and chilling and growing is a... It's a time consuming. Unless we get something simple like, like grilled soup, cheese here, soup out of a can. can <laughs> Here, Joe, this one's a good one. Now, I'm going to let you have this. Okay. Uh, this is from Grade, G-R-E-Y-D-E. Grady? Grady sounds like Grade. How is it, how it like being, no, how is it like, what is it like, you should be saying, is it like being fathers, parents? Do you, do you have advice for those who are about to be fathers or parents? Yeah. Uh... Get your shoes on, dude. It never <laughs> stops. I mean, I was patience. Thought, yeah, patience is a virtue that none of us have. Uh, it's completely stressful. Uh, you find out that you love something more than you can ever imagine loving anything, and then that adds a thousand pounds of stress every day because you realize that you are now responsible for this life. Yeah. You have to do everything, and you have to mold them. You have to worry about what's going to happen in their future. Take yeah. my advice you, for you. Is, yeah, yeah. My advice is to take it day by day, uh, and don't over worry. But don't under worry. Right. Because if your kid has a fever, you might want to call a doctor, but you might not want to call a doctor. Yeah. It, call your mom. <laughs> yeah. Because they're going to. See what they say. See what they say. It's uh, it's the greatest thing ever in the entire world, but it's also the most stressful and yeah, painful thing ever in the entire world. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It's really hard to say because it's like, and every kid is different. So it's like, like. If I, my kid might have been real easy, you could have another kid that's really difficult to raise. They're all different. Well, I get a test to the fact that all, I have three kids and they're all completely different. Um, but he's also talking about a kid who's older. <coughs> yeah. And so when you're looking back on things that, like when I look back on them being babies and how worried I was that they were breathing and how I'd wake them up and make sure, well, I'm an idiot. Because they're fine now. Right. But while you're in it, yeah, when you're in the thick of it, you don't. You, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like looking back on anything in your entire life. You realize how easy it was once you get through it, or how great it was once you get through it. Yeah. But while you're in, you're deep deep in it, you don't realize it. Um, let's see. At Ray Yurik, at Yurik Ray. This is, 
Okay. Right, your his name, your gray is his Twitter handle. See, so, yeah, I did that handle? Yeah, that's nice. Well, she. Will it be an MVE2? And also, I love your videos. I have been a fan for about three years, or just ever since 2016. Have a nice day. Well, you have a nice day as well. And uh, no controller for MVE2. Yeah, that, that has nothing to do with us. That would be a question for Jesse. Um, and then he'd have to get, try to get, well, he doesn't have that in the same characters in it, but no, I, I can be completely honest with you 100% right now. Probably say no. I have no idea. At all, I've never no, heard. I've never heard one word about an MV2. So, you know, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. We just don't know about so, it. So if it is, me and Joe aren't in it because yeah. we've never heard a word about He'd it. He'd probably be in it. I would probably not be right now. This is from Mary. Hey, Mary. What do you do for fun aside from making videos? Oh, yeah. Oops, it's really the most fun thing I do every week. <laughs> <laughs> I hang out with my family. I watch football. I watch sports. I cook food. Yeah. I, mean, I, really, I, I I work, I come home, and I go to work. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, it's like I'm trying to think, like, what fun do I have? She is? And that's only once in a great while. Blue moon? All right, yeah, the blue moon. But uh, right now, not, I, I, before I could sit there and say I play basketball or something, but yeah, I well, can't, I can't that do now. that. So yeah. it's like, for fun, it, this is my fun. Maybe we'll go fishing this spring and summer. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, Billy Birch at Billy Birch Eleven asked, "Do you ever? Do you plan on ever visiting England?" He wrote the England, but England, right. I would think uh, Would you? Would love to meet you guys, uh, Billy. I'm always down to meet people. It's always cool. I'm on vacation. People recognize me. Um, I don't know. I, I no. I, there's no plan for me to visit England. Do I want to at some point? Yeah, of course you do. It's England. Right. I've been to Ireland. I have no plans to go to England. <laughs> no, I have no plans either. And I, I don't know. It, it would have to be a free trip for me to go there. Yeah, like for something. Yeah. It's a, so. Bill, if you guys want, no, I'll be honest with you. If you want to pay for us to come out to England yeah. and meet you, then we'll all we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll of course we will. We like <laughs> um, you know stay at a nice hotel. It, it doesn't have to be nice. It has to be okay. And then bar okay. close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bar tap. All right. This is from Brittany Duke. Would you ever consider doing a live stream of the podcast? We uh, have considered it. We have considered it, and again, um, it's difficult because the next one is Noel. Who, Noel again, who's saying, "What is the least favorite thing about doing a podcast?" And again, the the least favorite thing for me about doing a podcast is, is that we're doing it for free, yeah. and it's a lot of work, yeah. and there's no reward that other than you know than putting something out for you guys, which we do get pleasure out of that. Don't get me wrong. No, that's, it's great, but we're not getting that. And we don't that, have the best equipment for this either. We have good equipment. Look, he did, they do a great job. Larry did always a good job of getting what we need to get to get the job yeah, done. Yeah, to get started, but we would like to be really Yeah, we need to move on. Yeah, right. So we have what we need now to get started. It, 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 it's, it's a learning process, too. It's not as easy as second nature. I love doing a podcast. I love sitting around talking to my buddies. Um, but I also like having more time to do videos. And here's the other thing. It's like Joe works, like, what, three jobs? Yeah, I guess technically. Yeah, and if if this was a successful thing, then I could take him away from a couple of his other jobs. Two of them. Yeah, and then and then pay him for this. And then it'd be three or four nights a week we'd be sitting. That's why we really want advertisements. That's our that's our goal is advertisement on that. Um, and that's the, I guess that that would be like what I don't like about doing the podcast is that there's not advertisements no, that different. I can just put on it. It's like we put an kind of an application yeah, thing to get it. Here. But we're waiting. But we're getting the listens. You guys are doing a great job. But yeah, right. It, it's it's a different product. It's a different beast altogether. Yeah. And we're we're getting used to it. Yeah. Uh, Elaine Taylor, Elaine underscore Taylor. Do you guys plan on bringing any new series to the channel? Uh, we actually kind of touched on that. Um, we would love to. It's just it's not a platform for it anymore. Right. It really isn't. Right. Now here's from underrated creator. What makes YouTube fun to do for you? Now. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not as it's it, it's not as much fun as it used to be when no. we do our, you know, our skits, especially back in the day when when whatever we did, push yeah, them yeah, down, matter. like yeah. no matter what we, we do, whatever we wanted to do. But now because matter. we we have to watch what we say, we can't you know we can't cuss, which is not really that bad. No, that's thing, not a big deal. But we have to worry about even the little words. You know what I mean? That you you can put the word about the, the problem with YouTube is now you have to worry about everything, titling. The picture. You have to worry yeah. about anger if like you're getting yeah, mad. Yeah, getting mad or angry. And we do that just when we talk. Yeah, because. So uh, we would like to create anything. <laughs> you know, 
we're having our creativeness stifled. Yeah. Um, had it been the same, yeah, we would definitely have more serious because it, 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 Slap and Halloween was a lot of fun for us to do. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway, okay. And here's another one, Joe. Always Juggy. What inspired you to start a podcast? Okay, um, I'll hit that one at first. What inspired us is, is that one thing about me and Joe, in case you guys don't know, is we like to talk. Yeah, for sure. And Duh. the audience on YouTube is, is especially our audience, because we were connected with Jesse's channel, is, is mostly a younger audience on YouTube. Well, we we kind of are geared more towards an older audience. Yeah, for sure. And and we believe that we'll get that on the podcast, other than, like, we will get... No, I would not, uh, no. And, and, and I think, yeah, so I think that we are, because we're older. That's what right, right, right. So, so when people, so we, when we see older and younger, we're talking about, like, the fans who watch our channel, there are people that are our age, like, man, these guys are really getting it. But we, I think we also have a lot of good advice. Right. As being the uncle, you're still Uncle Larry, no matter who right. you are. You still have that ability to give advice. I think the younger people still listen to what we have. I love the podcast. I think we wanted to start a podcast to give us a different kind of outlet right. um, to more people and different people. And I think it gives us a chance to give advice and voice our opinion on things more than YouTube does. YouTube is more like... Let's do a challenge. Let's do a cooking. Yeah, video. because I mean, like you can only do a Q and A when you're doing a real talking thing like this. We tried keeping it real. Keeping it real didn't work. No, no, we, we didn't. The, you know, the views weren't there and everything. But on the podcast, you could do the keeping it real, and the CPM on on podcast is even higher if you can get those advertisers. Which we had to apply for though, which is a different thing. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot different. Yeah. Sorry. Let's see. But we like to talk. That's the main reason why what inspired us to do. That is the biggest podcast. thing. Uh, would you consider well, uh, animus uh, animus two underscore o? Would you consider doing a series of stories on Story Fire with both of you? Uh, yeah. Once we get the opportunity to do it, we yeah. would consider it, and I think that's where our platform will be. And then especially we'll for the the things like uh, the angry guys and. You know our skit kind of stuff. That would if we ever be perfect. if we ever allowed the opportunity, we would we would probably put that up on Story Fire yep. if we were allowed. Um, <laughs> here's one for me. It's from Merc Retro. Will you ever become overweight, Larry? <laughs> I am slightly probably overweight right now. Who's overweight, Larry? Overweight, Larry. Yeah. The new character. Um, <laughs> I certainly hope not, but it's like I can't move around a whole lot to to catch you real though. quick. Yeah. So. You know, I'm getting older, I'm sure I'm becoming So overweight. overweight, but overweight is very, uh, there's a very broad term. Alright guys, let's see. By XX Panther XX, would, uh, would you ever do someone else's recipe on Chill on the Grill? Every time we do a recipe on Chill on the Grill, yeah. other than like your pot roast, your chicken pot chicken. pie, yeah. my wings. But usually I can claim them as some, most of them, because like, I change it. something in them. Alright, so yes, we would do someone else's recipe, but we probably would change something yeah. to make it our own. Um, what's yours and Joe's favorite music? Go ahead, Joe. Favorite music? Type of music is rock and roll, uh, 80s, retro probably. My favorite band is U2. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, always, it's always favorite. been that too, right? Yep, always. Yeah. Um, Josh, you tattooed on my back. I always liked Tom Petty. I liked U2. Oh, yeah, yeah I, always, I always liked U2. But, uh, yeah, mine is... I like U2, bro. Mine is... Like, <laughs> Mine's uh, Led Zeppelin. That was great. And uh, Tom Petty's always been my number one. Tom Petty's there. Yeah. But the thing about it is, though, is, it's also, I think, when you grow up. Like, I grew up, like, in the 80s, so you too was the biggest fan in the 80s. Right. I mean, they, they go back in history. Okay, so we're going to do three more questions right now. You want to um, go first? You can go first. You got one? Uh, I, I, I yeah, yeah, you go, and I'll go, then you go. One food you could never... What? One food? Food you could never ever bring yourself to eating. She wants to know what what's the one food that you can never bring yourself to eating. I know what it is for me. Well, actually, there's two of them, but you can never give up. Never seen? No. Sorry. One food you could never ever bring yourself to eating. There's yeah. a food that you dislike the most. What could you not eat? Mine would be lima beans or string beans. Either one of them. It doesn't even matter because I don't like either one of them. That seems weird to me because both of them are pretty easy. There's not a food. But is there I don't think food that you like. No, 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 I don't think I, until I try it. There's that that no strong stuff, that fish stuff that seemed pretty gross, right? Yeah. I can't think of really anything else. 
Alright, what's yours? I don't have any... Hold on. I don't have a uh, question. I'm trying to find one more time. Right. We had a big glare coming in through the window. So let's just end up with two questions instead of three questions. Alright, so the next one is from Billy D. How many jobs do you got left for Tom? Sorry, right, so I'm out of questions. I have no jobs for Tom, other than being our producer. Um, well, I told you that I had, you know, he... It's very important. He done the wood. He's, yeah, he did, he did a great job of the wood. The stones were great. Stones are, he did a really good job. He has much to do. There's a thing that I need done outside. Um, and there's going to be some other projects that we have around the house and everything. You need to wax car on and off? Because it sounds like you're doing a crowded kid. You're teaching to paint the fence. Yeah, paint the fence. No, I didn't say the fence. The fence is like fence this. Fence is this. Yeah, yeah. you said the house. All right, so I did the right thing. Paint the fence. Paint the house like this. Right. And then paint the fence like up. Up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> up. Hey, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, so, yeah I, I have some more jobs for him and everything, but... uh. The most important job is being producer of the show. Obviously, he is uh, yeah. without him. Yeah. I, you guys don't realize how much Tom does behind the scenes. Yeah, speaking of that, we got a problem. Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that about? Okay, I'll be keeping an eye on Larry's channel. Oh boy. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for the next one.